I am Crystal. I am doing a general reading for you guys. We're just going to do your situation, challenges, actions, and advice, and the outcome. I'll pull some oracle cards at the end. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> I'll explain it all when I am done for it all. Queen of Cups, Intuition, the Paranormal, the Knight of Pentacles. Alright, so your situation with the paranormal card, you could be somebody who's like a ghost hunter, somebody who's going through a lot of, um, maybe has haunting, somebody who deals with otherworldly stuff. You know, under this. Okay. The Queen of Cups is about intuition, listening to your intuition, and the Knight of Pentacles is about serving others and it's a servitude. So serving others, so maybe you use your powers or your abilities to be able to help other people. Um, and maybe this was all brought out by um, dealing with the paranormal in the first place. So maybe this kind of sparks some type of interest and now it allows you to open up your abilities. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so this might be something that you're actually, because this is what's happening now with the paranormal. So maybe now you're finding out that you have abilities or maybe, you know, maybe your house is haunted. Who knows? Um, your challenges are the Page of Pentacles. This is like learning something new. This is also being psychic and having abilities but not knowing it at the same time. And this is also saying that, um, this is also if you take a test or whatever, it's like good news coming for this. So this being your challenge, maybe you're like waiting for something and it's not coming. Like the news isn't coming fast. Maybe you're waiting for a message from something or someone. Um, but it's not, <laughs> it's not coming. Okay, wow, I didn't even look at the other cards. The Two of Cups and the Temperance, which are your challenges. Your challenge is like having patience. You're tired of waiting. Aries are impatient anyway. So it's like, you know, but the universe wants you to just take things step by step and allow things to just be the way that they are and don't have any expectations. Just go with the flow. And the Two of Cups, you, you might be waiting with the Page of Pentacles for some type of message from somebody else. That might be your challenge, but the temperance card can also say maybe you need to wait a little bit longer, there might be some more things that need to be done before this can actually happen. Your actions and advice is to hermit, stay away from people, places, and things, so you can do the healing work that you need to do for yourself. I love this question, so pretty. But um, <clears throat> this is like time to take a deep look within yourself. That way you can find out what you really want and what you don't want, or just, you know, Learn a little bit more of what you really, really want. Nine of Pentacles and King of Cups. You got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. I don't know if you're with somebody right now, but I don't think you are because you're waiting for some type of message from somebody else. But Queen of Cups and King of Cups here can tell me either somebody's obsessed over something or it could also mean that there's a partner coming in for you that is going to match your, like, it's going to be what you want, let me say. The Hermit, I feel like you need to take a deep look within yourself um, to really uh, find out what you really want. But then I just say that. Anyway, Nine of Pentacles, rewards. Like, all your hard work is paying off. Whatever that you're doing, she also has butterfly wings in the bag, so I feel like you're transforming. There's a lot of change going on. There's a lot of growth. Um, big changes, but big changes that are going to bring lots of, like, benefits, okay, and the outcome is the Five of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Nine of Cups, like, you're going to get what you wanted, what you've been asking for, what you're wishing for, whatever you're praying for, it's like, this is also a Twin Flame card with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, it could be a water sign coming in for you, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or it doesn't mean it has to, but it could just mean that somebody's coming in that's, like, kind of like on the same level as you, okay, and I feel like that's what you're wishing for. The Five of Swords is like the outcome and the Four of Swords. So you're going to need some rest over whatever you've been feeling defeated over or whatever you've been working or fighting over. Maybe somebody's always trying to win over you, but you're going to need some type of rest after this. So you've got the Hermit and then the Four of Swords. So, four of Swords. so you've got big healing and little healing. I feel like this is just a time for you to kind of recoup. And Nine of Pentacles is also about um, focusing on you and knowing that you are all that you need in order to get by. Um, you have two nines here as well, which is also talking about endings, right? So I do feel like something has ended, and this is the reason why you're having to take some time out to do this healing work that is needed. Um, I'm going to pull some oracle cards. Navigate them by the stars. Follow your bliss. You're on a new path now. Now, I don't know why I can't talk. It's like, listen to your intuition, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. 
faraway places, get ready for new horizons. So you definitely ended something and you're getting ready to move on to something better. It's like maybe whatever, something else <laughs> and surrendering to the journey. You're no longer fighting this, right? You're no longer fighting this. You just want what's best for you. And I feel like you're finally like just being like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go with the flow and see where this takes me. And let's see, I'm going to pull some more cards. Like what else is coming for Aries? The devil, a Capricorn, it could also mean you're just getting your power back, you're not going to be chained up any longer, Six of Pentacles, Balance, King of Cups, again, definitely could be a water sign coming in for you, if not, this person that's coming in for you can be somebody who doesn't wear the, um, doesn't allow their emotions to get the best of them, so they don't like snap out when they're angry, I feel like they kind of like take some time to gather their thoughts before they go ahead and like do things that they shouldn't, and then you have like the page of wands so this is definitely a message coming in for you it could be a new love a new inspiration new passions new jobs um mentally detaching yourself from something or someone the moon coming into a different place like the lobster's coming out of the water so it's like like where it says far away places get ready for new horizons that's exactly what i feel like this is this is also a card about intuition and then you have the paranormal i feel like you definitely have some type of spiritual abilities Nine of Wands, definitely a wounded warrior, magician, the emperor, you're coming in your own reading, and then the Three of Cups. I feel like when you finally realize that you are all that you need, that's when you're going to be able to stand way stronger and you're going to find your happiness. So, that's what I got for you guys. I'm just doing a quick reading, trying to get all the signs done. All the signs done today. Alright, but um, take care, and good luck, and thanks for watching. Toodles.